and it is the medal matches in the under 18s individual boys events and first up is the bronze medal match between Israel and the USA. The USA on the right of the screen represented by Isaac Sullivan competing in his second final of these championships. But this is Shamai Yamrom. Both these archers, 16 years old. making their debut on the international stage. Nicky Hunt still with me in commentary. And these two archers, you know, they've waited a long time to get to their individual uh, medal match. Does that cause its own problem? Uh, you know, I think it's just getting your timings right in terms of getting to the field and the practice field in the right time and then you know, getting yourself mentally warmed up and ready for it. Yamron with his first arrow. It's five ends of three arrows in the individual compound. each other like for like with those early arrows Isaac Sullivan already here. for confirmation but uh, make it 28 to Yamrock 29 to uh, Sullivan won a medal at international level. Can he change that today? Second end of five, first arrow for the Israeli. Seems to me as if the wind has dropped considerably from the earlier matches we we've been watching, Nikki. Yeah, we can see the flags in the background there, much stiller now, making the conditions a little bit easier.
women's shooting rate was faster than uh, this men's match. Seem to be taking their time more. Certainly paying off for Isaac Sullivan. But got to wait to have it confirmed, but uh, those were perfect scores from both men. Are there different techniques for different parts of the world when it comes to compound? Um, I think, well, the main differences of compound and the way to shoot it is whether you shoot a conscious shot or an unconscious shot. Uh, and certainly different regions teach that in different ways. Um, like we saw a lot of the um, Turkish archers shooting with a, a wrist release, for example. That's more of a conscious shot. So, yeah, that's probably the biggest difference we see. Uh, and and con usually. conscious and unconscious. <laughs> um, so we come into full draw, you know, so watch this archer, come into anchor, and then put his thumb, he can put his thumb on a trigger. And whether he's deciding to shoot now would be a conscious shot, or whether he's putting his thumb there and just thinking about pushing and pulling and relaxing and the, and the shot just going off. So they're the two differences in the way to shoot compound, really. Um, most people want to shoot unconsciously so they're not thinking about setting that release aid off but we have just certainly seen some archers coming through more recently um who are shooting very well with a conscious shot so yeah there's definitely pros and cons of each and is it something you can spot when you've got a you know an eye for it yeah certainly so um you know an unconscious shot you get more of a, a reaction um Whereas a, a conscious shot, you don't see much go on. You just see, you can, sometimes you can see a, a movement of the thumb. Other times, not so much, but you don't see much body movement. So the archers that tend to have like there, a bit more follow through power front and back. It looks more of a, a sub, an unconscious shot, really. Whereas I think Sullivan's a little bit less movement. Although I think he's shooting a back tension. His thumb is off the peg, I, I can see there. Another 10 for Isaac Sullivan. And that could give him another points advantage over the Israeli. I know, so they did match each other once again on that third end. Certainly, just you know, looking at them, it seems that Sullivan is just a little bit more relaxed, possibly, than Yamron. Yeah, I think the same. I think Yamron just looks a bit more tense, doesn't he? Certainly between ends, um, lots of deep breathing and quite um, sort of tense, I think. So, yeah, just got to try and calm himself as much as possible. Shooting really well, some high scores here. Got to keep doing his thing. Counting down now the 20 seconds he has. Maybe he felt that he didn't get that away quite as well as he wanted to. Still a nine though. And a nine for the American as well. So little to separate these two.
Sullivan match that 10. And keep his one point advantage. Nine. It was near the line, yeah. wasn't it? We're going to have to wait for confirmation of that one. Yeah, we'll have to wait for that. But it's a one point advantage that Sullivan has had since the first end. Ten, nine, nine. Ten, nine, nine. I think they've given him a nine. So look at the smile on his face. That squares it up to 116 each. And Yamron, who looked so nervous and under pressure and so worried, gives us a big smile. And I wonder if that's going to turn around his fortunes now. Although, how much better can he get, you know? He's never, he's not scored below a nine. He just needs to keep as many of these in the ten as possible, put as much pressure back on the American as he can. Really high scoring match here. So here we go, the final end, the final three arrows for each of these archers. It's all square. Can Sullivan match that 10? Yes, he does. Nine this time for Yamron. Penultimate arrow for Sullivan. And Sullivan goes ahead of Yamron. Got a point advantage, but for a single shot, Yamron would be in the gold medal match. He missed out on a shootout. And that's 145. A 10 will win the bronze for Sullivan. Oh, it's a nine. Oh, so close. It, that's going to go to a measure, though, maybe. So, first we'll get the measured check. Nine. Called it a nine. nine. One forty five apiece. So a shoot off it is to decide this bronze medal at these Youth World Championships. Yeah, confirmation at 145 apiece. So talk us through a shoot off, Nikki. So the archers are going to shoot one arrow each. Um, Yamron will go first, I believe. He was shooting first originally, shooting order. And it's just closest to the middle. So even if they tie score, closest arrow to the centre will win. So they'll probably be changing the target faces now. Nice, clean target faces. If they do need to make a measure, they can. Well, what a story for Shamai Yamron, just 16 years old. His first Youth World Championships. He missed out in a shootout with uh, Sawyer, Sawyer Sullivan, who is in the gold medal match. He missed out on that by one single shot. Can he turn his luck around to win the bronze medal? Or will Isaac Sullivan, also 16, hold his nerve and get closer to the centre? Time to hold your breath.
closest arrow to the centre will win the bronze. Hard one to call. <laughs> Hard one think to call. The Americans, think the Americans might be closer, but yeah, they're going to have to go down and have a look at this. Both mid nines. I think so too, but let's wait and see what they'd say. Get the calipers out, see? That's why they've changed those target faces. I think Shamai Yamron shaking his head. I'd He's not convinced that the medal is his. So close. So the bronze medal goes to Isaac Sullivan of the USA. And once again, Yamron misses out by just one arrow. Huge disappointment for the Israeli, who put up a, a, a huge fight. The two of them really very difficult to separate these two archers. But in the end, the bronze medal goes to Isaac Sullivan. And that is his second medal of the championship after his silver in the men's team event. So, congratulations to Isaac Sullivan of the USA. We have another American in the hunt, this time for the gold, Sawyer Sullivan. He will take his place against uh, Alias Brink of Slovenia as we watch back the highlights of this bronze medal match that was just so close. Yamron dropping a point at the very first end, making it up at the second, and then... They were matched point by point, arrow by arrow, all the way to that final shootout. And I suspect the difference in the end between the winning arrow and the second placed arrow, which is that one, was just millimeters. <laughs>